I am so excited. Oh my god, this lighting is awful. I am finally getting my hair done today. I literally have chills. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about my hair. So I first ever dyed it last summer in August. I did like a blonde balayage and it was just super subtle and I really, really liked it. Um, so I wanted to go more blonde, so she ended up doing kind of the same thing, just a little bit more blonde. So that was in November that I last got it dyed and cut, and like that was the last time I went. So I haven't got it done since November, but when I went, she did that again. She took it up a little bit higher and just made it a little bit more blonde. But ever since I got it done, I wasn't a huge fan of it because it was super brassy and... Like, even purple shampoo, nothing really worked on it. Like, I, I literally use purple shampoo every single time that I, sh like, wash my hair. Which I know I shouldn't, but I just wanted it to be blonde. And, yeah, so I've been just doing that for literally nine months now. I don't even care how it turns out. I just want to get it cut and dyed because I'm just so over... Like, I'm so insecure about it. It's just so gross to me. Like, I don't even know. It's really not that bad, like, once I actually do it, but, it, yeah, it just looks super brassy, and I'm just not a fan of it. I made an appointment in March, which is when, like, the whole pandemic started in the United States, so that was, that got canceled, and then I had made an appointment for May, and that got canceled, and we were just able to open up hair dressers and, like, beauty salons and stuff at the beginning of June, so, and I already had an appointment made before all of this happened like I just said and that was just how far she was booked out she couldn't even get me in until today which is d July 7th so it's been over a month since she's been opened up again and I'm just now able to get into the salon so yeah I am so excited you guys look how like it just looks yellow and orange it's just I'm just over it <laughs> so that's what we're doing today I will I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film much in there but I will try, I guess. I just don't want it to be, like, awkward. But I'll try to film a little bit if I can. You guys will see what it looks like very, very soon. I'm literally probably going to be in there for, like, five hours. But it's going to be worth it. So, <laughs> anyways, I will see you guys at the hair salon. <laughs> Alright guys, so my hair is now done. It's about a week later, but <laughs> it's done and here is my hair. So I chopped about four inches off because it was just so dead and it definitely needed to be cut a lot. I am obsessed with the length though. I think it's so, so cute. And then what she did, so she put in highlights all the way to the top and then oh there was still some blonde left because it was probably to like right here that was blonde and so she colored the parts that she didn't highlight she colored those brown so it's like brown and blonde but i am so obsessed with how it looks i think it looks so much healthier and yeah i think it's perfect for summertime i'm probably gonna keep it like this for a while um i do have another appointment at the beginning of September so I'm probably just gonna do the same thing because I just love how it turned out and at first I was a little iffy that's why it took me like a week to actually film this because when I first got it done and when it was finished I was like "Ooh, I don't know if I like this but I think um, since it's been out like a week I am obsessed with how it looks all right hi guys i'm popping in here because this video i'm pretty sure is gonna be really really short and i didn't want to like leave you guys hanging with like a five minute long video so i wanted to show you how i curl my hair it's the same way i used to do it but i think it looks so much better i don't know i'm just really happy with how my hair turned out and i just want to show you guys because i love how it looks curled when it's this short because it's just like super cute curls i just thought i would show you guys how i curl it because i wanted to <laughs> i just didn't want to leave you guys with a short video so i don't know if this is going to be interesting for any of you or if not i'm really sorry but <laughs> i just thought i would put it in here anyways because this was like a hair video so okay so the first thing that i do is this is like my hair after i shower so it's all dry i washed it last night and i just like sleep with it wet 
I have always showered at night. So I always have like little crimps up on the top. I don't really know if you can see, but it's pretty bad in the back is where it gets the most. But so I always like to just take a straightener and straighten the very top part of that. Because if I don't, it like, I don't know, it just looks weird. And I like how this looks when it's straightened on the top. So I go all around and do that. And I try to get under too. A little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything. So I don't even know if you can. I can already see a difference from this side to this side. I don't know if you'll be able to. So I just do the same to the other side. And then I make sure to get the back as well. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I do that. And... Yeah, I can already tell it looks so much better. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to plug in my straight or my curling iron. So the curling iron that I have been using for a while is from Lang or Lange. I don't know how to say this. I don't know how many inches it is. I feel like this is the one inch. I think I had the one and a half inch. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it just looks like this. I'm not sure what size it is. I think it's actually the half of an inch or half inch. Maybe not. Because I have this one too, which is a lot thicker, and I feel like this is the one inch. Maybe it's one and a half. I don't know, because this is pretty thick. If you can see the difference. Anyways, <laughs> this is the heat curling iron that I use, and I really, really like it. I used this one when I had longer hair because my hair was longer, and if I tried to use this right now, it would only wrap around like one time. <laughs> so, but yes, I use this curling iron, and it does have. A little um, thing at the top so you can put your hand here to like hold it um, the other one does that I have doesn't have that but it doesn't really bother me because I don't use it anyways um, but it does come with a glove so that's awesome this is not sponsored I'm just telling you what I use so how I do this is I just take the front part or start the front of my hair I don't like to pin it up or anything my hair is pretty thick but I don't know this is how I always do it you can pin it up if you want if your hair is also thick but just wrap it around about three times and then I leave a little bit at the end and that's how my curl looks sometimes I will only wrap it around twice if I want it to be like a very very loose curl um but most of the time I wrap it around like three times so if I want it to be loose I'll do like two times like that but it just depends how I want my hair to look like that is a super low curl if I want it to be up higher I do three times around Every single piece I like to just kind of like toss it around and <laughs> run my fingers through it a little bit till it's a little bit messier that's pretty much it <laughs> also I do like to um, curl the front pieces a little bit higher just so it frames my face more yeah like that like that side looks already looks better than the side <laughs> Oh my gosh, that already looks so much better. <laughs> so that's how I curl my hair if you were wondering. I know none of you asked for it, but I didn't want to make this video super short. So I guess we can go back to the other clip where I did my outro. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it for this video. I know, I'm sorry if it was really short, but yeah, I just was so excited to get my hair done and I wanted to show you guys what I was doing to it and how it turned out. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Turn on my post notification bell so you can be notified every single time that I post a new video. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.